Hey DIYers, Jared with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing how you would add a key fob to the Honeywell Lyric system. Now, <clears throat> the Honeywell Lyric can support up to about 32 different key fob zones. Uh, that does amount to up to about eight four button key fobs that you can program with the Honeywell Lyric. Now, technically, you can program the key fobs into one of the, or a couple of the 128 wireless zones that the Lyric does support but it is recommended that you do at least program them into the specific key zones that are programmed specifically for the key fobs. So you do want to keep that in mind. Now, a standard four button key fob, um, some of them can be configured to do uh, or to have multiple button presses. So a standard four button key fob can perform up to about eight different functions if you wanted to program it that way. Um, each individual key fob can be programmed in its own specific way, depending how you want it to work. So if you wanted one key fob to do one thing, uh, you wanted the other key fob to do a couple of other things, you could definitely configure that uh, the way you want to. Now lastly, a key fob can be uh, programmed or associated with a certain user. So uh, basically, if you're a homeowner, you're a business owner, and you had a couple of key fobs, and um, you had a bunch of people that you know were trying to use the key fobs. You can set it to a specific user so that you can tell uh, who is arming and disarming the system, um, when they're doing so, so you can keep track of the activity of your alarm system. So <clears throat> um, now, if you're adding a key fob to the Honeywell Lyric, you have to make sure that it is a compatible key fob uh, with the system. So the normal uh, or the most common key fobs that are used for the Honeywell Lyric are um, the Honeywell 5834-4 and the Honeywell 6 fob, which I have both of them right here. So the Honeywell um, 6 fob is different from the Honeywell 5834-4 uh, because this is the encrypted version of the key fob. So uh, because it is using the new Honeywell uh, 6 technology, so this is encrypted and this key fob can only be paired with one uh, Lyric system at a time. Can't be paired with multiple ones at a time. So if you were pairing um, Honeywell 6 fob to you know, a new Honeywell Lyric, you want to make sure if it's paired with another system or not. So the way to tell is <clears throat> uh, the top two buttons on here. You're basically going to press and hold these until you see the lights come up on the uh, top of the key fob. Now, as you can see, if it does alternate uh, with the green light, then it is not paired to a Honeywell Lyric. Now, if you were to press those two buttons and both lights are solid, then it is paired with another system. So <clears throat> now if it is paired with another system, you can default the key fob so that you can use it with a new system. Uh, you just have to make sure that the key fob wasn't used up to about uh, 100 times with the existing system. So. Now, the Honeywell 5834-4, um, this is the more standard key fob. Um, this one is not encrypted, okay? And it can be used with multiple other panels, not just the Honeywell Lyric. Plus, this key fob uh, can be programmed to multiple different devices at a time as well. So you can have it programmed with you know, two different Lyrics or even a couple of them, however you want to set it to. So if you were a user and you did want to add a key fob to the Honeywell Lyric system, you'll follow these simple steps. So first you're gonna tap security, then you're gonna to tap tools, and you're gonna type in the installer code. Um, default installer code is 4112. And then you're gonna press program. And underneath zones, you're gonna see keys. These are the specific key fob zones that are made specifically for the key fobs. These are the ones that we do recommend that you program the key fobs in. <clears throat> so if you tap keys, you'll see uh, the option to add new at the bottom. So first we're gonna pair the uh, Honeywell 6 fob. So if you just tap add new, and you're going to see the options to be able to program the key fob. So uh, we're gonna auto enroll the key fob. <clears throat> now to do that, you're gonna tap serial number. And to pair the key fob, uh, you're going to press and hold the top two buttons until you see the lights come on. And once you see the lights start alternating, you can let go and the system will pick it up and it'll give you a confirmation beep.
Okay. Now to finish the pairing process, you're basically going to do the same exact thing. So you just press and hold the top two buttons and the Honeywell Lyric uh, was able to pick up the serial number for this key fob. So <clears throat> now when you're configuring the key fob, um, you can configure the key type, uh, the different button presses for the, for the six fob, you can assign a certain user. So as of right now, the key fob is programmed to a standard four button key fob. If you wanted to change that to the multi-button press or even a single button press, whichever way you want to set it, you basically just tap key fob type and as you can see, you have the one button, you have two, you have the standard four, you have a six button press, and you have an eight button press. So for this video, we're just gonna configure this as a standard four button. All right, so <clears throat> to assign uh, the key file to a user, you're just gonna tap user. And from here, you'll be able to choose the different users that you want to assign it to. Um, we're just going to assign it to the master. So as you can see, you see the, f uh, the four different uh, button keys that you, can, that you can configure. So as you can see, it's button key one, button key two, button key three, and button key four. So <clears throat> button key one, you can see as arm away. Uh, button key two is disarm. Button key three is arm stay. Button key four, right now it's set as no response, uh, but normally it's set as a specific panic. So if you wanted to set it to a panic, you're just gonna tap it. And you'll see the options to be able to uh, you know, configure it. So as of right now, we're just gonna press 24 hour silence. That if you were to um, hit the panic button on a 24 hour silence, it'll just set off a silent panic. So you won't be able to hear the system going off or the system sounding the alarm, but our central or the central station will definitely know that there's something going on. So <clears throat> um, once you've once you've confirmed that you have configured the Honeywell Six Fob the way that you would like it, you just press save, and it'll take you back to this screen. Now, <clears throat> next we are going to pair the Honeywell uh, 5834-4, so I can show you exactly how that pairs. So to do that, you're just going to press add new again. And we're going to auto enroll this the same way that we did with the Honeywell 6 fob. It's going to be a little bit of a difference. If you tap serial number, um, it will take you to the option, right? And what you're going to do is you're just going to basically press and hold one of the buttons until the Honeywell Lyric picks it up. So as you can see, the Honeywell Lyric was able to pick up the key fob no problem. So um, as I did explain, if you wanted to change the key type, you just tap it. Um, if you want to uh, set it to a user, just tap user. And uh, we're going to sign it back to the master as well. Um, as you can see, it's going to be the same exact thing. Uh, button key one, button key two, button key three, and button key four. So um, we're going to keep the exact programming of the key fob, um, but we're just going to change button key four to a 24 hour silent panic. So just tap on it, and we're going to tap 24 hour silent. And once you have confirmed that you have programmed the key fob the way that you want to, you just press save. And at that point, um, you just hit the back arrow until you go all the way back to the home screen. So to make sure that we have configured uh, the key fobs correctly to the Honeywell Lyric, we're just going to do a quick arm stay um, or arm to away with the Honeywell 6 fob. So as you can see, it's arming away at the moment. Uh, so I'm just going to disarm it real quick. All right, so the Honeywell 6 fob is definitely configured to the Lyric. And now to test out the Honeywell 5834-4, we're just going to do a quick arm away as well. Away. Exit now. As you can see, it is going into an armed away. Ready to arm. 
And that's how you add key fobs to the Honeywell Lyric system. If you have any questions about the Honeywell Lyric or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you want notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. Have yourself a great day.